This clip is about installing the Unicenter Point of Sale program in Debian 6. Um, we chose to use a MySQL database instead of the default one provided with the program. We're going to talk about downloading, creating a database, installing the program and uninstalling the program which may be necessary at some future point. There's more than one way to do most things in Debian but this is one way which we found worked for us. To download, we went to the SourceForge project page, which is referenced from the main Unicenter POS homepage. And we'll just go through the process there. We opened a browser, typed in the web address for SourceForge, scrolled down to the Linux tab, and there is an option of three programs there. We can have the 64-bit, the PowerPC or the i386 version which is what we used. And when we downloaded it we saved a copy of it to a folder named Uni which we placed on the desktop where it was easily accessible and with a simple name. We could just stick, uh, click on that run program but we need um, root privileges to install it so we will do it from the command line. We need to have a web server and this machine already has Apache, PHP, MySQL and the PHP MyAdmin GUI tool installed on it. Um, users can install those things from the, using the Synaptic Package Manager or from the command line. There's plenty of help on the internet about that if you need some guidance. We need to create a MySQL database and we use PHP MyAdmin for that and we just use the simple name Unicenter as the database name. So if we copy that for example, we can log into PHP MyAdmin using the username and password. We simply use root for both. That's inadvisable for a production environment but perfectly okay for an experiment like this. And when the screen opens, in the Create New Database box, we just paste the name or type it, press Enter or click on Create, and it says here that Database Unicenter has been created. There are no tables at the moment because the program hasn't created any. We can now install the Unicenter program. We're going to do that by logging in as root into a terminal or console as some people call it. So we open the console, log in as super user su, type in the password and then we need to change directory to the folder where the program file is and that was our uni one on the desktop. Now to save typing anything and risking a mistake we can type ls to get a list of the program files, there's only one there, then copy it and we put in dot forward slash paste in the name of the file then we can press enter and that should start to install the program. We're just waiting for a moment while it gets its act together and starts to install. It's running slower than usual because we're doing this screen recording as well and it's using resources. We can choose the language we want to use. We'll stick with English for this one. Click on forward now we should read license agreements before we accept them. We did this earlier so we'll accept that one and click on forward. The installation directory looks a bit long so we'll just shorten that to Unicenter for simplicity. Click forward and then we can start to install. That bit's going quite quickly and then it installs an uninstaller program. It's 25% installed there. And when that reaches 100%, we should be pretty much done. Just wait patiently for this to go through its process. We don't want to read the files at the moment. Now that should be installed. And it says here, wait until the first setup screen appears, blah, 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 follow the prompts. We've done all that. Now the program was installed as root, and it, so the files have 
root file permissions. If we want an ordinary user to use the program, we need to change them. So we're changing them all to 777, chmod 777, and we'll just paste that command into there. Ops, Unicenter, star for everything. And once that's done, we can exit from root, and we're a normal user again, rather than being root in the console. If we want to start the program, we can use the command line command like that, starts.sh for shell. Or we can create a launcher in the panel at the top of the desktop screen here. So if we right click somewhere on the panel, we can click Add to Panel, Custom Application Launcher. We type in the name, Unicenter, that's good enough. And then we paste in the command that we just copied off of the text editor there. And OK. Now we should have a working launcher. So if we click on that and wait, it should open the program for us. It says a working database cannot be detected. A default database will be created. Do you want to continue? Yes, we do. And we wait again. OK, there's our screen. We can go down here to Administration, click on that button. And if we go over to the left and click on Configuration, something we need to check here. Remembering it had a default database. OK, in those boxes there, driver library, driver class, and URL, we should have the correct information for our MySQL database. These are the settings we used, and because we tried this earlier, it's already got them in there. But those are the ones that we should put in the boxes in that order. And it's instruction to the Java program and showing it where to find the database, etc. The user and passwords for the database are those that we used when we first installed the MySQL program. OK, so it says that's saved, and it will be applied on the next restart. So we need to exit the program, we'll log out, we'll exit, then when we restart, we should be set to go and start setting up our store. Click on our launcher again on the top of the panel there. This time we'll go into manager, not administrator, because the manager should be able to set up the stock. And we'll just do a little bit of this to prove that it works. Click on stock, categories, and we'll just type in a category to get it going. And we'll use a DIY one, a standard category. Then we click on the Save icon there, the little diskette. And we can, if we want, start to put some products in as well, uh, barcodes and so on. We can swipe a barcode in or type it in and so on. But we can do that as part of using the program. So we'll exit for now, knowing that it works. It says here, read the user guide and practice remember to back up the database. That's very important. And good luck to those who try it. We hope it all works well for you. But we said we'd look at uninstalling. And to do that, we'll open a terminal and log in as root. And we'll type in that command, opt unicenter uninstall. So we can right click that and paste it into a root terminal. Get rid of the last command, we don't want that. Type login as root, su for super user, password, and then we'll type in our command. Press enter. Wait while it does its business. Do you want to uninstall Unicenter? Yes. Uninstalling. Shouldn't take too long. Uninstall completed. But we've still got a bit of this left. We've still got the database. 
so we need to get rid of that uh, so we can do that through PHP MyAdmin going to PHP MyAdmin log in if we're not already logged in so we say so root and root again look in the left column for the list of databases click on Unicenter to select it there are 37 tables that it created and then we go to drop on the top right there click on there if you're about to destroy a complete database do you really want to yes click on OK and that should delete so it's not in the list anymore that's completely deleted we can exit that go to a blank screen or whatever we want and that's now uninstalled there's no trace of it left on the system so we've been through those steps of downloading the program, creating a database, installing the program and uninstalling the program. We hope that that was of use to somebody and we'll do some more clips on other topics later. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.